Yes, my name is Anthony Vincent Clark. In regards to my uh, civic and uh, political background, I'm a special education teacher by trade. Uh, but while teaching, I started a nonprofit known as Suburban Unity Alliance. Uh, our platform essentially attacks equity issues within the community. Our motto is fights are not mutually exclusive. Uh, so we've done a lot of work within the community in regards to restorative justice practices, uh, engaging in and addressing you know, racial and other discriminatory issues within communities that are in our institutions of small businesses. Uh, we've hosted uh, scholarship opportunities, uh, various initiatives, uh, purchase security systems for churches that are being harassed by white supremacist organizations, uh, been trained in DACA to support our dreamer population in filling out those application processes, and most recently we also formed a non uh, I'm sorry, a LLC, Neighbors United LLC, where we employ at-risk youth uh, in the Austin community. We bring them into Oak Park, work with lawn care and home care services. So we're literally everywhere. Uh, we believe that issues are interconnected, uh, so we try to engage and attack you know, with interconnected solutions. Uh, beyond that, you know, in regards to politics, uh, we're heavily involved in local uh, political uh, community in regards to pushing uh, progressive candidates, uh, candidates that believe in equity, uh, candidates that believe in diversity. Uh, so I've pushed and, and put forward many local candidates through the school board races uh, and through the local village races. And we also partner with PASO, uh, a suburban action project in regards to passing uh, the most progressive welcoming village ordinance in the nation in Oak Park, Illinois. And most recently as well, I got Columbus Day uh, eliminated and now we have Indigenous Peoples Day uh, in Oak Park, Illinois as well. So that's some of my experience and background. Top priority, uh, again, as I said earlier, I believe that issues are interconnected, so solutions are interconnected. Uh, so my top priority is bringing opportunity back to the 7th Congressional District. And in order to do that, I think we need to invest in our educational systems. We need education reform and criminal justice reform. Those are two of my top priorities.